Hi, this is Jay Yudlowski, and here's a quick tip on how you can create shadows for the different elements that you put into your composite image. So, in doing landscape architecture composites, a lot of times we're putting in trees and plants, and you always need to have a shadow in there or match a shadow to what's in the image that you're, you started with. So, here's how we do it. So, here I have a tree. It's on its own layer, on uh, layer zero here. And what we want to do is we want to take this tree, we want to copy it, so I'm just going to copy this layer by selecting Command or Control J. Next thing I want to do is transform it and press Command T. And I want to grab it by this point right here. So if I just hold the Command key, I can grab this point and I can just bend it down to the ground, just like that. So now that we have our, our essentially our shadow here, what we want to do is make it black since your shadows are generally black. So we're going to come up here, we're going to select this layer by pressing Command and clicking on the layer. Next, I want to fill the selection with black. So I'm going to press Shift Delete. For fill type, I'm going to use black. And I'm click OK. Now I'm going to deselect it by pressing Command D. And here you can see we have a black shadow on the ground. Looks like we need to move it up just a little bit. And we're going to add a layer mask here. And as you can see, the shadow is overlapping the tree a little bit. Obviously, we don't want that. So we can either, one, move the layer behind the tree layer, which works, or you can mask it out. Depends on your image and your composite on how it works out, which way makes sense to do it. Um, so in this case, we were able to just move the layer for the shadow behind the layer for the tree. And usually what you want to do is change the blend mode to multiply. So that way, whatever is in the background, whether it's a lawn or grass, uh, maybe it's a sidewalk or something, I don't know, you want it to blend in with that. So you change it to multiply, and then you play with the opacity of the layer. Because obviously, most of the time, no shadow is full black, unless it's something like a building or something like that, where there's a real strong sun, and uh, you, know, you really want to block out whatever is on the other side or whatever's in the shadow. But typically, you want to drop the opacity back, and really the the amount you want the opacity to be opacity to be is really just based on your overall image and how the shadow blends into what you've already got there so i hope this tip was helpful and it's really easy to create the shadows here for any image you can do this for cars people bikes any kind of image that you have this is a real easy way to do it and you have the ability to adjust this shadow and move it around however you need to so that you can match it to the other shadows in your composite. Thanks for watching.